Hi guys, as always, before we get started, remember to click subscribe, click like, and leave a comment below. So this is going to be a compilation of unboxing videos. I ordered several items from a bunch of sustainable ethical stores or online shops. So this first one that you're seeing is from the company called 10,000 Villages. So this company, part of my ethical buying little campaign over here that I'm doing is making sure that workers are paid a fair wage. Now to me there's a difference between buying ethically and buying sustainably, although there is a lot of overlap between the two. Ethically to me means that the workers are paid a fair wage, that they're not using slave labor um, to force people to make products for us and then it also means cruelty free like for animals. No shopping sustainably to me means things that are good for the earth. Most times companies who are ethical and are paying their employees a fair living wage and are using strong products, they are also sustainable. They also practice sourcing materials that are good for the environment, good for the earth, and they're green for lack of a better word. So in a previous video, I talked about a couple of the companies that I was buying things from. I think I mentioned 10,000 Villages, one was Globe Inn, the other was Chilote Shoes, and then there's a couple others that I order from that I will be unboxing. The reason I decided to buy something from 10,000 Villages is because I was comfortable with their business practices and that they do pay a living wage, not just the minimum wage, a living wage to their employees in India, Nepal, and all over the world, and that they're handcrafted and they support the local people, basically. Okay, so what I see first is this little pamphlet, and it talks about their company and their business practices, paying fair wage, working in safe conditions, that's another one, treated with dignity and respect, hoping to break the cycle of generational poverty. So what I ordered from them was actually just a couple baskets because I do actually need some baskets to store some of my items in. So this is a big 11 inch basket. It was only $14.99. And I also got two six inch baskets. Now I kind of wish I got another 11 maybe, but we will definitely use both of these and it looks like these were six dollars each as well these are going to be put to use in my house and buying from this company i feel better than spending fifteen dollars on a wicker basket at target or something where the employee who made it was probably it was probably made using slave labor and it's going to be put to the same use as the one from target would have been so i was looking at this and it says natural wool slippers made Fair by a woman in Patagonia, Chile. But then it says right here, this unique pair was hand knitted by, and it doesn't have a name, and I think it's supposed to be like a name of the person who actually made it, so that's a little bit sad. And then it says, use extra wool kit to personalize and repair if needed. I don't see a wool kit in the bag. I don't know if they mean this, that was like tying them together, so I will keep this extra just in case. Please reuse and or recycle packaging, so that's cool. Um, I'm probably gonna keep this just to remind myself like how I can wash it, cause I'm gonna forget. Okay, so they are on. They are, I think I'm a little bit on the big side, even though, so I'm like an eight and a half to a nine, and then this is, it's good for eight to 10. There's a little bit of extra right there which is fine because if you wash it, it might like shrink a little bit. Plus it's a slipper and I actually don't have any socks on under here. So if I wore like some socks and then put these on on top of it. Quick update, um, this is the next morning. Just wanted to say that I put on socks with the slippers and they're definitely a lot more snug and like they don't really feel like they're gonna slip off as much. So I would recommend putting on socks if you order these. Okay, so I have got a bunch of stuff to unbox today. Something we've got here, this is from Known Supply. It is a clothing brand of ethically made clothing. So it says that the packaging is 100% recyclable and compo compostable. I say that word wrong. 
so yeah, we've got this. This is just a shirt I ordered. Um, as I've mentioned several times, you don't need to buy things just to buy things from companies. But I did recently get rid of a lot of um, stuff from my closet. And I'm trying my best to just replace that stuff with things from companies that um, follow ethical procedures. So you open it up. You get... You get this little card that says nice to meet you and then on the other side it just has the name of a couple people um, and it just tells you basically about the company. A little sticker and what I had gotten is a long sleeve shirt so I just opened that up. Um, it's a women's small because it's made in Peru, it's 100% cotton and oh this is cute. So that it has a picture of the person who made it. And on the back, it says, stop guessing where your clothes come from and let us show you. We want to introduce you to the person who made this garment. And I think you can go on the website and maybe like see a little bit more about them. So that's cool. Um, my dog finds this very interesting. So maybe I'll wear this next time I record a video and I will point it out. But it definitely looks like it would fit me. It feels like it's a really good quality. So oh, some, something quickly that I just really wanted to note is I just wore this shirt from Known Supply, um, making another video that I'm editing over there, and it has a tag inside of it when I took it off, and it says made by Olinda, I'm not sure, um, and you can go on the website and you can read like little bios about the person who made your shirt, but yeah, so I guess I just misunderstood before who made it. This is the person who made this particular shirt. It's like sewn into there and then they like write their name on it, which is super cute and I really like that idea. Um, yeah, just wanted to be clear about who made this shirt. So now we've got this box. It's from Eco Roots. It says, thoughtfully packaged with eco-friendly shipping supplies. There's a lot of this stuff, which I'm not a giant fan of all over the place. So what we've got here, this is a shaving shaving cream, like just like, kind of like a block of soap, but it's shaving cream, I believe. That's what I ordered from them. And this is to go along with my waste-free bathroom that I'm working on. Then we have this that I got. It is lip balm, vegan lip balm. This is a cardboard container, so it's completely recyclable after. The flavor or scent is rosemary eucalyptus. Um, I don't really know how you work it, like how you spin it. Oh, I think you just push it up from the bottom. Yep. Ooh, it's like really smooth. It goes on really easily. Definitely, I definitely recommend this. Normally you have to like put chapstick and like do a couple wipes on your lip before it gets soft enough to go onto your lip. I don't know if you know what I mean, but this one just kind of got soft enough and went on right away. So that's super awesome. Oh, it says you can also use this for your hands and body, but it says vegan lip balm. I'm probably just gonna use it for my lips. And the packaging, this package is biodegradable. So that's cool. And then I got this. So I also bought, a one of those toothpaste tablets I have tried it only once it's like super weird and I don't know how I feel about it um so just in case I decide to not use those long term I did also get this David's toothpaste from Eco Roots it says premium natural toothpaste whitening anti-plaque fresh breath fluoride free sulfate free peppermint essential oil blend naturally sourced and derived ingredients uh, fluoride free, I apologize for my dog, Junior. Fluoride free, no animal testing, vegan, sustainable packaging. The metal tube is recyclable. A really big container of toothpaste actually. And again, this is recyclable packaging. And we have something in here. So it says it is a tube key, slide on end and roll. This is super awesome actually because I've tried buying like the regular kind to use for my regular toothpaste and it never works. They like never roll up properly so I can use all of it. So this is super cool. So those are the three things I got from Eco Root. All right, and then this is actually an Amazon package um, because, well, this is actually from the body shop, um, but I didn't 
I went on their website to try to buy it from them, but I didn't like have enough in my car. I didn't spend enough on ship on products to get free shipping. So I went to Amazon and it appears that they sell to Amazon and I have Amazon Prime. So I was able to save on the shipping that way. That's why I ordered it from them instead of the company. Um, but this is Community Trade Shea Butter from Ghana, cruelty free against animal testing. It's just moisturizing lotion. So this is also an ethically sourced um, product and cruelty free, which is something that also matters to me. So I look forward to using this. I got this. Um, this is the box and like the packaging that it's in. It's from, as you see, Verve Coffee Roasters. All right, so it opens like this. Welcome to Verve. And we have got my coffee here. I really like dark roast. So that's what we've got here. Roasted April 23rd, it says. Um, it doesn't, there's just my packing slip, like my receipt. It doesn't include any other packaging, so that's good. Um, ethics and excellence. The farm level initiative is our direct trade practice. It allows us to reward our farmers for their commitment to producing quality coffees with premiums that exceed fair trade, mi fair trade minimums every time, no exceptions. By participating in this initiative, you'll experience the most incredible coffees in the world while positively impacting global communities with every sip. We think this is pretty rad. So I'm going to Google farm level ethics and ex excellence just because I want to learn like a little bit more about it. Um, oh crap, I totally ordered whole bean coffee and I don't have a grinder. I think. Ooh, I'm going to have to buy one of those before I can train my taste test. Okay. Yeah, so we'll see. This package, I have got a couple bamboo toothbrushes. Now, yes, what I'm taking out of here did come from Amazon, which I know like isn't, whatever. Um, but I'm trying to do better. And so this is gonna be part of a future video where I do like a plastic free bathroom. So we've got those. Um, I've got a couple bamboo dish soap holders. So, these will also be in my bathroom. And I've got this um, facial cleaning bar. So what I have right now is in a plastic tube to like wash my face. So I'm gonna be using this. This is a good, also cruelty-free brand, Pacifica. Um, and they are usually an affordable, more affordable type of makeup brand. So this will be one of my new products. Oh yeah, recyclable and cruelty free and actually vegan too. So check it out. Okay. So this is another thing that I ordered from Amazon, but actually I went to the real website for this and they kind of like encourage you to go on Amazon because the company is in New Zealand and in the United States, like it just makes more sense to get it off Amazon. So I think that's like, okay. Um, this is a I guess. Um, they are a cruelty free, uh, planet friendly, company and this is a solid deodorant so I don't know how I feel about this to be completely honest but I'm gonna give it a try and then the other thing also from the same company is a shampoo and conditioner bar so I don't recommend going out and buying all this stuff just for the sake of buying it but I do like I had to buy this stuff. So I was literally running out of face wash. I guess I didn't really have to buy a toothbrush, but um, I'm literally, actually I'm not running out of deodorant. But the deodorant that I do use is cruelty free in the packaging, even though it's a plastic tube is recyclable. So if I don't, if this doesn't work super well for me, then I'll just go back to using the one that I have. Um, I am running out of shampoo and conditioner, which is what got me searching for companies, which is what got me on Ithique and how I also ended up with their deodorant. I ordered a dress. Now I did order it from like the sale portion of their website. Um, yeah, I think this will fit me. And I really like it. I mean, again, so I don't recommend buying things just for the sake of buying things. Um, but I am going to go through my closet in another video and just get rid of a bunch of stuff that I don't need. And then I'm trying to replace with only like friendly, organic, fair trade, B Corporation 
type of clothing. So that's kind of what this is a part of because I'm going to be getting rid of stuff in my closet and then I'm not going to, I'm going to try my best to not replace it with like $8 sweatshop dresses. I'm going to try my best to re replace all of my clothing items with upgraded type of earth friendly people, company, uh, people friendly items. Last thing for today. It is from a company called Bear Soaps. Now, I actually forgot how I heard about this company, but it is super cool. The soaps are all natural, sustainably sourced, and they give back. It says 20% of their profits um, to immediate needs of hepatitis B vaccines, vitamins, soap, shoes, especially in Uganda. And they're working on long-term projects such as land, goats, and solar energy, which is super awesome you can plant the packaging and it grows into flowers. So this says it's gonna grow into wildflowers. What I ordered was like a you pick four. So I picked four and the company actually emailed me that one of them I picked was like out of stock or whatever, which is fine. I told them to just like pick whatever they wanted to send me the fourth one. So that, I think that's what this one is. Uh, I think this is called black tie. So I am excited to try these out. And I will plant these and hopefully we can see how they work as well.